Hello and welcome back to the Beautiful Things channel. I am going to show you some of the things that I have been busy making in June. So the first thing that I made was this t-shirt. This is from some cheap jersey that I picked up at the Birmingham Rag Market. I just had one meter of it and it cost me one pound. So the cheapest t-shirt going. This is a Rivage Raglan by Blank Slate Patterns. I turned the arms up, didn't put any bands, and I just used my cover stitch to hem those. And I put a neckband on it as per the pattern. And I will show you the bottom. Again, it's got this lovely dipped hem so it covers your bum and then rides up here. And this has just been cover stitched as well. You couldn't get a simpler t-shirt than this. It took me 10 minutes to cut it out and probably less than an hour to sew it together. Um, it's just really, really super comfy. Just with a pair of shorts, um, great for the summer. So I'll give you a twirl. The other thing I've been busy doing is making samples so that I can record and film my latest intro to sewing with stretch course. And one of the things that I wanted to do and cover in the course was the Lady Skater dress by Kijiku Patterns. I wanted to make an adult one and a child one and show all the different options for setting in sleeves, making bands, etc. etc. So I used this really cool pineapple jersey from Girl Charlie. Thank you, Mark. He sent me that. Um, I know Gabby from Gabadashery has used the blue version of this to do um, a Tilly and the Buttons Agnes top recently. Um, so I've made this sleeveless version with the little caps and that's got the lovely little skirt. Again, I've cover stitched the hem on that and put bands on the arm and the neck. And I then went on to make an adult version. Where is it? Oh, it's inside out. It's no good. Oop. I then went on to make an adult version for me and this time I did the short sleeves. Now I do my sleeves slightly differently on the Lady Skater. I don't put my sleeve bands on before setting my sleeves in. I set my sleeves in, I sew my garment up and then I attach my sleeve band as a complete band. That way you don't have any raw edges showing on the inside and it just gives a slightly neater finish. And I do exactly the same with my neck band. I know in the instructions, um, Amanda says to sew one shoulder and then put the neck band in and then sew the other shoulder, but I don't personally like that raw edge on the inside. So I like to put mine on afterwards, but it's just personal choice. Anyway, Izzy and I have both been out in the garden in our dresses to give you a twirl. So we'll let you have a look at them in the flesh. So the next thing I want to show you again is also with the pineapple fabric. This was with my leftovers. In fact, I still have a tiny, tiny bit left over. Um, so I might make a vest top or something like that for myself. Um, but after the success of my lovely pink self-drafted tunic dress top thing that my mother-in-law pinched in my last makes video, I thought I'd use the pattern and I'd make another one. So. Here you have another funnel neck, twirly whirly top. I'll give you a twirl and then I'll talk you through some of it. So as you can see, the neckband, because it's quite a thin t-shirt, doesn't necessarily sit brilliantly around the neck, but it's okay. I'm not sure about the armbands. Now what I did with the other one is I turned these armbands under and then I top stitched them down. I haven't done that with these and I'm not sure whether I should, but I may well do so. So I don't absolutely love this top if I'm honest, but for just something to pop on in the summer and just knock around the house in, it's absolutely perfect. I think to be honest, it's something that needs to be done in a plain jersey or a jersey that's got a bit more weight to it so it hangs really nicely. Um, the jersey that I used to make my first one was certainly much heavier. 
So I have been furiously making, I've in fact made another three garments in June, but I don't want to overload this video. And because they're all very, very similar, I'm actually going to do them as a separate video a little bit later. But I've got one more thing that I want to show you before I leave you today. Okay, so this is the final thing oh, that I want to show you. And this one's refusing to take it off. Is it super comfy? <laughs> So with the final remaining scrap of this stripy t-shirt jersey, I made Izzy a little t-shirt dress. Now you'll recognise the top half of this because it is the Kitchy Koo Lady Skater, but I didn't have enough fabric to make a full, put your tongue away, to make a full twirly whirly skirt. So all I did was lay the paper pattern piece onto some paper and I just drew straight down so that we've got a straight mini dress. So I'll get Izzy to give you a twirl now. be very very proud of me when I show you this awesome pattern matching there we go check that out all the way down the side on both sides mind your hair Ooh, look at that aren't I clever say yes mummy yeah <laughs> But this is an absolutely perfect chuck it on dress just to put on over um, her bikini when we're on holiday or just on a really hot day when she's at home knocking around playing. Um, it's simple t-shirt fabric and again I've used my cover stitch to hem it and I've put a neckband and armband as per the pattern. Are you pleased with it? Yeah. Good. You can go now. Yeah. <laughs> Say bye bye. Tell you what, this is the end of the video, so you know what you need to say at the end of a YouTube video, don't you? What do you say? If you like this video... If you like this video, please subscribe and make sure to follow us on... Give us a thumbs up. Give us a thumbs up and... That's it. Please subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> Thanks for watching. See you soon.